Good morning Indonesia! Welcome to VOI Voice of Iraq, the most factual and updated news of the day from all around Indonesia. I'm Kalista Jaslin and I would like to bring you to the top issue for the next 5 minutes on Tuesday, Thursday, September 15, 2021. Today's headline is about the impact of economic crisis on the education. COVID-19 pandemic that has been hitting the world since early 2020 gives long-term impact to the world. The head of International Monetary Bank IMF Kristalina Georgieva also reminds us about long-term economic crisis due to this pandemic. More and more countries suffer from the worst condition of their country's economy and millions of people plunge into poverty. Due to International Labour Organization or ILO, around 3.3 billion workers are unemployed will they have to earn money for the families. According to Executive Secretary 1 of the Committee for Handling COVID-19 and National Economic Recovery KPCP and Radin Padede, this is the toughest economic crisis our country has experienced since independence. Social and activity restrictions of very lots of business activities which then have impacts on the economy. General Secretary of Indonesian Ministry of Manpower Anwar Sanusi reported 29.4 million Indonesian workers are unemployed. The bad economic condition also gives impact to students. A lot of students must help their parents to support their family's economy. Instead of going to school, they are forced to work or even get married. KPAI even saw an increase in the numbers of dropped out students. Ratno Listiarti, member of KPAI, mentioned that COVID-19 pandemic has been around us for more than a year. Government should have predicted the problems of the dropped out students and got the solution earlier. Around 33 students in Kabupaten Seluma, Kota Bengkulu have dropped out and now reported getting married. In Chimahi, two students from junior high school become a construction laborer and work at a printing shop to help their family's economy. Another example, Wawan Ruswandi, head of Dinas Pendidikan Kabupaten Lebak, Banten, reported 415 junior high school students have dropped out during this COVID-19 pandemic. This example show how crucial the problem in education is. Their main reason to quit school are getting married, working, or even just being lazy. What should the government do now? Another problem that Ruswandi mentioned is that 3,869 students are reported not joining any online learning activities. Students there lack of facilities such as gadget, quota, electricity, or even signal. Facing this issue, Ministry of Education and Culture, Kemendikbud, has already given quota which costs around 9 trillion rupiahs to not only students but also teachers. For every month, kindergarten students get 7 gigabytes, elementary, junior high school, and high school students get 10 gigabytes, teachers from kindergarten until high schools get 12 gigabytes, meanwhile, college student and lecturer get 15 gigabytes. This is all the news for now. Do not forget that the pandemic is still going on and please stay safe. Thank you so much for watching VOI Voice of Iraq. I'm Kalista Jaslin and until next time.